yeah. Oh, it smells good. I like the smell. This place, huh? Nice. The smokehouse in the back. Hope we get a tour of that. There's the wood. That's what you want to see when you pull up to a smokehouse. To a barbecue place right there, baby. All right, guys. We're inside Goody Coles right now. You got to check this place out. Really, really nice establishment. Look at this place. I mean, it's a real deal. Texas it's a real deal, right Texas place. You pull up, as you can see, you see the wood, right, Crawdaddy? Daddy? Shiner box. Boom. You see the wood outside when you pull up. You come in. It's really rustic in here. And um, you know, you get the bull horns up there. You see? The line. They're the line. They're Any the barbecue line. place has a line. Mm -hmm. Go to. And like, what do you like about it? You walked in, you said it was smoky, it was, yeah. it was really rustic, right? All right, guys, here we are, Goody Cole Smokehouse. They just told us this is the infamous cucumber salad. Mm. So that's a must try. Okay. Mashed potatoes. Yeah, mashed potatoes. Yep, mashed potatoes. Some macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese. Some beans. Check it out. Nice. Ooh, good. Some cornbread. Some sausage. Oh, gotta have that. Get the works, in, baby. Look at this. We got some chicken right here. A little turkey action. We got some turkey. Beautiful. That's gonna be mine. Look at that. Look at that. And we Look got some ribs. ribs. So let's check out these ribs. So we're going for taste, tenderness, and appearance, right? Just like they do with the pit masters. Chris, take a bite. Let's see how that is, right? Look at that. Let me see that bark. Nice little smoke ring on there. Nice glaze. See that bite. Mm. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. See Kev? I'm real. Really? It falls right off All right. the bone. My turn Perfect. to dig in just a bit and try it out. Uh huh. What do you think, Greg? Really good. Perfect cook right there. Mm -hmm. They leave the membrane on, but that's honestly it, the way they cook it. It kind of falls right apart. It's not. It's not really hard. It doesn't really snap. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some barbecue sauce. All right, guys, so they said this is the famous cucumber salad. Let's find out. Only one way to find out. All right, so. Mm. Crunchy. What is the sausage doing? That's good. They got something special with that. Guys, check out the sausage. Give me sausage. So we got a vinegar barbecue, mustard. And then we have the sweet, try that. medium, so hot, good, try it. and I assume that's extra hot. We're gonna try all these out right now. What do you think of that cucumber salad, Kev? Unbelievable. Really? Mm -hmm. Dying to try it. Oh yeah, well, that's your pork. I wanna try that sweet barbecue. You wanna pass me that sweet sauce over there? This one? That's me right there, let's try this. That's medium. It's medium. Oh yeah. You want the sweet? This is excellent. Really good, huh? Mm-hmm. This is a medium. Cucumber salad, so good. Oh, bomb. You guys try this yet? My favorite, right oh, yeah. here. Mac and cheese, baby. I'm gonna try this turkey uh -huh. here. Mm. Not a lot. Mac and cheese, very good. Smoked turkey, really good. Turkey breast. Check out this chicken, guys. A lot of, a lot of you guys have trouble getting your getting your uh, chicken uh, crispy, but this has got a really nice crispy skin on it. I'm looking forward to getting in on this right here, this half chicken, looks really good. You guys try the sauces yet? I did, very good. Medium's good. Mm -hmm. Got that molasses taste if you like to it. So we have pulled pork and brisket on the way. Give the mashed potatoes a little whack. I'm going in for the beans. Attaboy. I'm gonna break open some of this chicken right here. Look at that. Thank you so much. Cold pork just hit the table. Let's take a look at it. You wanna show them that? Let's jump a little closer. Check it out. Get a nice close up on that, Kevin. Cold pork. See that nice, we get some bark on there. Get some nice bark right on here, guys. Get this right here. Nice. I'm gonna give this a try right now. Can't wait. Let's try that. Full pork, guys. Can we get a, can we get a cheers for, for NEP? 
I gotta get some sauce on mine. Here you go. All right, who's that, North Carolina? Carolina? This, is the, this is the vinegar barbecue. Let's try it out. Cheers, Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh. Cheers, guys. There you go, wow. Mm -hmm. I think the sauce is pretty decent. How's that hot sauce doing? Let's try that. That hot barbecue sauce is hot. I think you, yours might give it a run for its money. Okay. I'm, not, I'm more of a sweet guy. You're more of a sweet guy? I like the sweet, yeah. I tried that already. How would you like the sweet? Yeah. Check out this cornbread, guys. It's pretty moist. Cornbread's really good. Guys, this is really good cornbread. Oh yeah, oh, really good. Try that, that's like cake. Unbelievable. Come on, come on. Guys, the cornbread is like so moist. It has the consistency of like cake. It's unbelievable. Really, really good. What's this dough? Try this mashed dough. Mm-hmm. You taste the butter right away. You know they're real. I mean, you just know they are. Really good. Really good. So, so far we have the pork, the pulled pork, right? Yeah. Really? I think everything so far has been on point. We'll be giving our ratings in a little bit, but so far, guys, we are not unhappy, as you can tell. We're not unhappy. What are we gonna eat next? You guys try the chicken yet? I am driving. You gotta get in that chicken. I'm gonna have another one of these sausages here. Ooh. You know, Mike. You know it goes great. You know it goes great with the sausage, right? Mustard barbecue sauce here. Alright. What do you think? Mustard barbecue on the sausage? Yeah. Let's try that out myself. Nothing like a smoked sausage. And believe it or not, some barbecue places just don't have it, and I don't understand it. It should be a staple at every barbecue place. We've had this conversation numerous times. Uh -huh. yeah. What's up guys? So I got the beans here with some pulled pork beans with the hot sauce. Good. All right, guys. As you can see, we really like the mac and cheese. I mean, this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, it's almost gone. The uh, mashed potatoes, like Greg was saying earlier, you know, you can tell they're they're real. It's not that shit you get in a can. But these um, are super good, super super creamy, super very creamy, good. very good. All right. One bite, everyone knows the laws. All right. All right, guys, the long-awaited brisket. This is what these guys are known for. They were waiting to give it to us last because, well, as you know, can't serve brisket too early. It'll get dry, it starts to oxidize, and then it's not as good after, right? So check out what we have right here. All right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it first with no sauce, because you wanna know how we're doing. Let's see, let's see, let's see, yeah, yeah. Let's give uh, some uh, uh, napkins, please. Okay. All right. Let's go. Dig in. Just gonna grab a piece of this here. We got some of the we got some of the uh, flat, and we got some of the point on there too. We actually got a, this right here. This is your burn end right here, guys. Look at this. That's your burn end right there. Let's try that. The bark is great. Oh yeah. It's got a nice smoke ring on it. Right now, I'm gonna try the uh, I'm gonna try this flat here or the point with a little bit of sauce on it. I go with the hot sauce. Mmm, that is awesome. Damn good right there. Wow. The bark is like a nice flavor. What are you tasting for spices? Is it salt, pepper, garlic? It has a nice the box at the end. It has like a nice pick. Nice we don't know what they put on the box or for seasoning. I'm sure they're not going to tell us, but definitely have a nice little kick on it. Oh, it's all there. Very good. Oh, yeah. 
and so tender. Brisket, oh, check. Guys, we are standing with Bryce. He's yeah. the shift leader. What's up, Bryce? My doing? man. He hooked us up today. Yeah. He's yeah. going to give us a tour of the smokers. Let's, Let's go. go. All right. So, quick little, uh, quick story about the smoker. Biggest one in New England. So, uh, imported from Texas. Really big. This uh, holds up to 16 plus pounds of beef. Awesome. Is this rotisserie? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. let's check it out. So we use uh, we use one one kind of uh, wood, hickory. Okay. Hickory, hickory. Okay. Yes, you gotta let it smoke up real quick. Okay. It's up to heat. We get up to heat right here. So uh, this is the biggest smoker in New England. Boiler barbecue pit yeah. by J&R yeah, Manufacturing. Yeah. From Texas, yeah. Now this is all wood smoker. Yes, sir. Yeah. So is it a propane assist at no, all? Not at all. I'll show you the firebox okay. too. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what we want to see. Oh, look it's at smoking that. Smoking up, yeah. That's how we get the smoking. Really? So you open yes, it up sir. and get the, the airflow going? Yeah. So okay. we have the uh, rotisserie here. You turn it on. It sucks all the smoke out. Okay. It. Chimney's out top, obviously. And you can set it and forget it when you go overnight? Or yes, sir. Yeah. So, so the cook that we do for night yep. is uh, brisket, pulled pork, and turkey. I'm about to put that. I'll show you guys putting that out. I'll just throw it in there. Okay. And then day cooks chicken, kibasa, ribs. And we do that during the day. Awesome. So uh, the day crew. So no one in. has to be here at night to no, watch this over? No, this does it by itself. You'll hear it opening it up and everything. Okay. It basically opens up itself. What happens if it runs out of wood, like in an hour? Uh, so whenever we close up, we, st we, uh, we stuff it up. So I'm, I'm, I stuff it up and I just fill it up and get it going. That's awesome. Basically they ask me if, if I'm out and about, I come back in and fill it up again. And does it have a hold feature so when it's everything Everything's done to hold at a certain temperature. Yep, you have to be yep, at a right here. So you can set it right here. So I'll move it around real quick. We get it at about 180. Okay. So the bottom one's at 10, so it's at 10. It's cooking 180 good. because serving is 140 yes, or, or higher, right? Yep. And if we're doing like a good size cook, come here, bring you oh, guys yes. over here. Look at this, guys. Oh, look yes, at these briskets. Look at these briskets, yeah, guys. Wow. This is my cook today. We're doing a small one, but I did this Holy one. Holy mother. Look at this smoker, oh, guys. Man. This is a small cook for us. Yeah, look at that. So what are these? Usually, uh, usually I can throw four, uh, four brisket up top and put eight pulled pork on the bottom. You guys can see in the background, you yes, know sir. that yeah. this is all wood. Because you can fire. see that fire yeah, just fire. roaring back there. Yes, I can't wait sir. to see that close up. Look at this. Look at that. The stalactites of just goodness coming off the bottom. That is beautiful. Beautifully see that. And the ribs. Ribs get the uh, rib ribs. You get the rub, but the turkey's going now. Those are bo that's boneless? Yes, sir. Okay. All boneless. And you leave the skin, you take the skin off when you uh no, when you that's serve how, that's, the skin how we, uh, that's how we figure it out. So fatty top up top, fatty's on top, so basically fatty skin on top, Beautiful. fatty skin on top. Same with the brisket. Yep, cook fat side it, up. Give it a couple pumps, that's what I do to see. Just get it going. I watch it, see if anything's moving around, but after that you close it up, turn off the rotisserie. This thing's badass, so. All I know is that this guy is super passionate, right here. super passionate pit master right here. And I love meeting guys like this. It just, it just, I love meeting guys yes, like sir. this. It's awesome. Yes, sir. You want to show us that firebox real, yes, real sir. quick and, and, your, and your stack of wood and then yes. we'll let you get back to business. Yes, sir. Right, we're so going to the rear. It's actually open right now, so Excuse we got a wood hickory. Okay, so we're right using now. hickory? Yes, sir. All right. Nice hickory right here. Yep, yep, and you can notice all the different sizes. Yep. Some so catch quick, some don't. Oh, I threw mother. some in there already for you guys to see oh, when you got yeah. in. Look at that. This is it. This is how I do right here. Holy. Now, how do you control the uh, temp? Because So it does it on its own. So the control temp, the dialogue, you can put it, we usually do 180. Okay. You can put it to 200 if you need a big cook. Yep. If we're cooking late because we're getting busy, you can see it's getting busy. So it doesn't matter how much wood you have in there. Nope. It does it itself. It does it itself. Yeah. Crazy, right? Amazing. So this door right here, yep. you'll hear it. You'll, if you want to see it, wait for a second, but it shuts down and it'll start rolling. That's what I wait for when I leave. The smoke starts coming out, and whenever so, you're outside, you just see. Clouds. So essentially, it's like an offset smoker. Yep. It's just it, it works like an offset smoker. Yep, yes, sir. And it's just a big giant beast in that you big can box. stack up with wood. Has heat management, yes, sir. and you can stack it. Come in the morning, and you have some food. Plus pounds of meat. Wow. You this, this is probably what a twenty-five thousand dollars smoker right here. Yeah. This guy's well, in heaven right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, guys. I mean, this is fantastic. Just thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, brother. Join the page. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, join the page. Join the page. It was nice meeting you awesome, guys. Awesome, guys. Goody calls, man, in Brentwood, New Hampshire. You guys yes, gotta come check this place out. My man, Bryce, the pitmaster. Awesome, awesome guys. Goody calls, man, in Brentwood, New Hampshire. You guys gotta come check this place out. My man, Bryce, the pitmaster. Ask for him when you come. Tell him you belong to New England Pitmasters. I'm telling you, guys will not be disappointed. Peace. All right, guys, we just left Goody Coles in Brentwood, New Hampshire, and wow, what an experience this was. All wood smokers, holy moly, Chris. Awesome experience. Right? Dude. Some of that, uh, what was it, the cucumber cucumber salad, man. That was that awesome. Was phenomenal. Chain. Brisket was good, chicken was solid. Yep. Everything was great, man. All right, so let's, let's break it down. Let's do our review now. You know what? Let's start with what we had first, when they brought out chicken, right? 
It should be yeah. time to do, as you guys know, right? Especially yeah. in mass mass amounts like that in a restaurant. They, they come out in the half yeah. chicken, so everything cooks these. I mean, it's kind of like spatchcocking, right? You cook it in half, which, uh, as we know, gets the uh, you know the white meat and the dark meat to cook more evenly. Um, so, and the skin was nice and crispy. Very I didn't spit, didn't spit any of the skin out at all. It wasn't rubbery whatsoever. And what else? We had, well, then they brought over the, uh, yeah, the sausage. sausage, the sausage, sausage the turkey. The amazing. sausage is really good. The sausage, sausage I like with the hot, the hot sauce. Right. The hot sauce was on point. Okay. And I'm not a hot sauce guy. Right. The spicy I'm, barbecue. You the mean. spicy barbecue. Spicy barbecue. Yeah. Yep. I am normally a, a sweet when it comes a sweet type of guy when it comes to. Uh, when it comes to sauces, I love the hot barbecue sauce. It was really, well, they had really the hot good. And the extra hot. I the actually, extra hot was a little too much for me, but I, I, I like the, the, the hot better than I like the sweet. I thought, I the, sweet was yeah. a little, I thought I, the sweet was a little thick. No, I like the hot better than the sweet too. Yeah, it Matt's was it was good though. I just like the hot better. Yeah. That's all. Out of uh, sides though, out of mashed potatoes, oh my God. beans, macaroni cheese, cucumber salad. What was your favorite side? Corn. I like the, the cornbread. Cornbread was amazing. Cornbread. It was like, I missed it. It was like cake. Yeah. I mean, that, it was yeah, like was, I love a spongy. Moist cornbread and this they, Did you they say had moist? it. Moist. I think said I said moist. moist. I like the word. Uh, the ribs obviously were they were actually really good. They were tender and uh, they stuck to the bone when they stuck, did it stuck to the bone and they, they pulled right off when you want. They had a good taste, good bark. And last but not least, well besides the side, right? Only the pulled pork. The pulled pork was very good. Very good actually. Very good. But the show, you know, the, the one that stole the show today tonight probably the brisket. brisket. They're known for their brisket. It's, uh, it's It was really, really good. It's a uh, uh, family-owned rub or it's a family, uh, it's a family recipe, right? The family recipe, yep. It's right when you pull up, you see the wood. When you walk in, Chris, what do you, you like about that place? It screams Texas, man. It's authentic. You got the uh, checkered tablecloths, the smoke in the air, country music playing. It's awesome. It had everything that I wanted to see in a barbecue restaurant and what you would think a traditional barbecue restaurant has. This place was thrown together with, you know, things you'd find out in a scrapyard for the most part. They had license plates. They, they had license plates from everywhere. In the, everywhere license plates. I saw Aruba. They yep. everywhere. Yep, yep. It was insane. They didn't have a shortage of people walking through the door either. They um, didn't. We got there at about, we got there about five-ish, 5.30 or something like that. And then it just got real busy within that hour. And there was a, there was a pretty sizable line when we left, so. So good, great experience, and the hospitality was ridiculous. Unbelievable hospitality. Shout out to Bryce, man. Thank Bryce, you, Bryce, dude, man. thank you so much, Bryce. Um, you know, head pit master, one of the head pit masters there, and this guy took us on a tour. He hooked us up with a nice platter of everything, so we could really just sample everything they had, which we're internally grateful for. So we highly recommend uh, checking out Goody Coles, baby. Goody Coles and Brentwood, baby. All right, so. Until next time, fellas, peace.